Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, we're not at the office right now. Uh, Kai and I are here at... Say hi, Kai. Hi, we're at Chili's. That's right. We're waiting for the Jurassic Park movie. That's right, we're waiting for the start of Jurassic World. But before we... Um, I was going to do this from the office, but I think I'll just do it now and kind of talk to you guys about some ideas that I think you should really know about. Um, biohacking, okay? I've invited a number of you to like uh, one of my businesses, uh, Neurofux, N-E-U-R-O-F-U-X. Please like the page, and uh, you're also welcome to join the group. Uh, Neurohack, neuro, that's right, Neurofux Biohacking Community. And uh, I want to talk about biohacking because, um, as you know, uh, when I first got into holistic health, I got into it uh, to help my son, and then I realized that I was really, uh, it was really beneficial for me as well, uh, with stress and anxiety, a number of other issues, and uh, oh, by the way, I'm enjoying a nice, nice margarita, right, how's that, right, for Friday afternoon in the summertime, and um, I, uh, I got a lot of a lot of benefit from uh, neurofeedback, and then I kind of uh, moved from there into uh, cranial electrotherapy stimulation and um, biomagnetic paratherapy, and of course these are all therapies, right? These are all things that that are therapeutic, but. I like to consider the uh, Biomed RX Health Center as a gym, like a gym for the brain. Uh, you don't have to be uh, sick or ill to benefit from uh, um, going to the gym. You can go to the gym with a perfectly healthy body, and by training your body at the gym, uh, you can make it even better, right? And those of us who are gym rats, okay, I used to consider myself a bodybuilder at one point, um, we understand that. And when you get to the point of, of getting more than just reasonably strong and reasonably healthy, uh, you become a bodybuilder or you become a performance athlete or you become, you know, a, a a semi-professional, you know, runner or, or whatever it is that you'd like to do. And I guess that's kind of called biohacking, right? So uh, when, you, when you get so much healthier than you actually need to be, that's biohacking. You're giving yourself a higher quality of life. And uh, that's what I want to discuss today. Um, because I've actually gotten to the point of biohacking. And um, with the combination of neural feedback, uh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, my son had a, an ATEC of at least 47 or 50, if not higher. If you don't know what ATEC is, uh, it's the Autism Treatment Evaluation Checklist. So if you have a child with autism or if you know of a child with autism and you observe that child, look it up online, okay? Autism, A-T-E-C, Autism Therapy Evaluation Checklist. It's the number of questions. It'll take you about a half hour to answer them all. Answer them as honestly as possible. And they're going to email you a score uh, for your child. And... Um, and that's going to be the ATEC score. Well, I've reduced my son's uh, ATEC score from a, about 50, 47 or something like that um, down to 2, an ATEC of 2. And honestly, there's really only one symptom left, and that's uh, object fixation. But I recall when I was his age that I had a favorite toy. And I carried it around everywhere. And I don't really think that that's autism. I think that's being a child. You know, it's like having a, a it's like having a security blanket or, or whatever. So basically, yes, I've I've eradicated uh, autism in my son with neural feedback and uh, cranial electrotherapy stimulation. Uh, oh, absolutely. And and listen, uh, Lisa. 
Kyla that Lisa, if you're in Southern California, contact me, inbox me, and come to my health center. Come to the Biomed RX Health Center. I would love to help your son, and uh, and I can, I can actually do a lot of a lot of good things for your son. And um, so so basically, uh, we went from. Um, fixing ailments into bodybuilding, I mean bodybuilding, into uh, biohacking. And, you know, biohacking is, of course, being more uh, being more healthy than you need to be, right? Uh, actually, you know, giving yourself a peak performance uh, mind, uh, a mind, a brain that works better uh, than the average person. And uh, without bragging, I have to say I'm there. That's where I am. I'm trying to keep that bright light behind me. You know, it looks like my brain is lighting up right there. I'm trying to keep that out of your eyes because I think that might be negatively affecting the image. But um, now I'm enjoying uh, I'm enjoying the effects of, I guess you could say, too much neural feedback. I've got over 600 sessions of neural feedback on my own head. And, um, and when you combine neural feedback with cranial electrotherapy stimulation, uh, CES, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, we, we put uh, little probes, clips on your ears that give a very tiny pulse of electricity and that electricity stimulates the brain to produce um, serotonin, norepinephrine, and uh, dopamine uh, and uh, all of your endorphins in perfect balance. This greatly enhances the effectiveness of neurofeedback. In fact, um, using the Mind Alive devices, um, and you can check them out at mindalive.com, or you can also check them out on my website, biomedrxsupplements.com. I am a distributor of Mind Alive devices, and you can purchase one from us. Um, you can accomplish, if you combine, uh, hi Marie, if you combine uh, um, cranial electrotherapy stimulation with neural feedback, you can accomplish in say five sessions uh, what it normally, uh, what normally takes uh, uh, 20 sessions of neural feedback alone. So I can say that the combination of uh, neural feedback with cranial electrotherapy stimulation is about four to five times more effective. This is the truth. I wouldn't even exaggerate when it comes to that because I know that a lot of people care about their children. Um, yes, I understand uh, if you if you you know when when you're going through the changes with puberty, uh, you could have uh, what they call panda. Which is, uh, which is aggression that the child's going to experience uh, when they're going through puberty if you don't really, really take care of the autism symptoms. And they can hurt themselves. So I totally, totally understand where you're coming from. Um, but I, I wish I could help. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously from Louisiana as well, from New Orleans, but my clinic is here in California. Where are you going? You're in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so Kai's going to the bathroom. But... Um, I want to talk about things that you can do without thousands of dollars worth of equipment like we have at the Biometrics Health Center. Things that you can do on your own. I want to discuss um, dimethyl sulfoxide, D-M-S-O, dimethyl sulfoxide. And you can probably find it at the health food store. Yes, you can probably find it at the health food store. Uh, um, as for DMSO, DMSO is a natural product that comes from trees. It's like a sap. Uh, it is. It was uh, discovered uh, serendipitously in Russia years ago uh, by people who were trying to make wood pulp. They use it. They found it to be a byproduct. What DMSO is? It's a very powerful solvent. And um, it dissolves everything. It dissolves uh, water-soluble things and fat-soluble things. And DMSO is good for a number of things. Back in the 1960s uh, and 1970s, it was uh, heralded as a wonder drug. And of course, because it's cheap, it'll never be expensive. It's in trees all over the world. Um, and because it's so effective, it has been suppressed by the Food and Drug Administration. And of course, you know, they're in the pocket of the, uh, 
of the pharmaceutical companies and everything else. And I'm not really, I am a big time conspiracy theorist, but I'm not going to get in. I'm not trying to talk about that right now. Um, but what I would like you guys to know is that you can purchase DMSO. Uh, you can purchase it online. And um, I highly recommend that you do buy some DMSO. And hi, Susan. Hi, Gina. How are you guys? I'm trying to set this camera up so I can talk to you guys hands free. Uh, and I'm setting it up on, on the menu thing here at Chili's. Uh, on the menu holder here at Chili's and trying to get them myself situated so I can talk to you guys and still drink my margarita. Mm. Anyway, um, DMSO, okay, dimethyl sulfoxide. It's got a lot of uses. Um, if you rub it topically on your skin, um, you can heal. You can heal anything. You can heal muscle muscle strain, uh, muscle tears. I'm going to be demonstrating it because I have a bodybuilding injury here. You can see this little lump on my arm. I ripped my bicep, and uh, and so it's you know I didn't I didn't have surgery uh, because then they have to cut the whole bicep and reattach it, and I'm not letting anybody cut my bicep. So um, I, I use magnets to heal myself. And you know, here we are. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys um, a rub DMSO on it when I'm bodybuilding and uh, use it to heal. There have been Olympic athletes that have been able to heal themselves overnight by using DMSO uh, topical, topically. Yeah, yeah, it does, right? Yeah, it does look bigger than me. But uh, and it tastes delicious. I highly recommend going to Chili's and having one of these margaritas. I think they're on special for like five bucks a piece. Um, say excuse me, man. Say excuse me. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. My man is such a gentleman, right? I'm so proud of you, Kai. Okay, don't move this because this is where the camera is. Yes, please look up DMSO. It is wonderful. Now, the thing I want to say is that. Uh, not only is it good topically, it's also good internally. Um, you don't. You only need a few drops, okay? Uh, four, five, maybe ten. I'm up to ten drops. Um, when you drink DMSO, it relaxes the entire uh, uh, nervous system. It's very calming to the brain. It's very calming to the body. It feels really good, and it's not a sedative. It's not the kind of drug that'll put you to sleep. But uh, it is very uh, relaxing to the nervous system. It is. Uh, it cures, believe it or not, uh, alcoholism. It cures drug addiction. Uh, it cures mental retardation. And it also is very effective with autism. So please, Lisa, uh, get yourself some DMSO. Get your son some DMSO. And uh, just give him 10 drops in the morning. But I'm going to tell you something that's even more effective than just drinking the DMSO by itself. DMSO is very effective if you drink it by yourself. But I'm going to give you a secret. This is where we get into biohacking. A biohacking secret that uh, will actually make the brain work better. Okay? Um, get some vitamins. Get phosphatidylcholine. Phosphatidylcholine. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Avocado salad? Avocado salad? I don't think so. I, I ordered the, uh, the steak. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, yes, it will help. The DMSO will help with autism conditions. Okay? Uh, do it every day. Uh, do it every day. Uh, Ten drops, say, in a glass of water. But... Let me tell you how to really, really get the most of it. DMSO is such a powerful solvent that it will actually cross the blood-brain barrier. In other words, it will actually get into the brain and into the nervous system. Not many things, you know, we have the blood-brain barrier. It stops things from, in our bloodstream from affecting our brain. But... Oh, that's what we're talking about. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Um, but... Anyway, uh, what was that saying? Now, whatever DMSO binds with, it will cross the blood-brain barrier. In other words, you can take aspirin topically. You can take drugs topically. You can take any any medicine topically with DMSO. 
if you had an aspirin pill, you can put it right here. You can crush it up, put it on your skin, okay, and then drip some DMSO on it and then rub it in. DMSO is such a powerful solvent that it'll actually go through your skin and get into your bloodstream, okay? Uh, that's how powerful it is. And you can also add it to something and drink it, and it'll cross the blood-brain barrier. The reason I'm saying this, yes, please do. The reason I'm saying this is because if you take a tablespoon, okay, and you put your daily vitamins, all right, most of us take vitamins, but most of us end up, you know, uh, for lack of a better word, peeing the, uh, peeing the vitamins out, okay? Uh, the body doesn't absorb the vitamins, so we're kind of wasting our money with our vitamins. Okay, so take a tablespoon, all right? Put your uh, vitamin pills in the tablespoon, okay? Get some DMSO, drip the DMSO onto the vitamin pills. The DMSO, being a powerful solvent, is going to sink in. It's going to soak into the vitamin pills, and it's going to bind to the vitamins. Then take the vitamins that way, and whatever little residual DMSO you have in the in the spoon, lick it up, get it all, because that's good stuff. The DMSO will carry the vitamins across the blood-brain barrier. Now, what is it important that I want you to know about uh, biohacking? Okay, if you've seen the movie Limitless, right? Uh, you see uh, Bradley Cooper. You know, he takes this pill and, and, and his brain works super duper well and he's super smart, whatever. You can actually achieve that uh, that, state, that state, that state of being, okay? Also, uh, our kids with autism, largely autism has to do with the, the gut-brain connection, which means we, the kids have so much biofilm, they have so much virus, bacteria, fungus, and even parasites in the digestive system that their digestive system is not absorbing the nutrients from their food well enough. And so the, the brain is loopy, the brain is going to fog, and, 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 and they have the symptoms of autism. Okay? You can circumvent that using vitamins that have been soaked in DMSO. Uh, oh yes, I take it every morning. In fact, um, I'll get up at say three and three o'clock in the morning, you know, or two or three to go use the bathroom or whatever, and I'll take a tablespoon and put it on the uh, on the counter of the bathroom, and uh, and I put my vitamin pills in it, and then I soak them with DMSO, and then I go back to bed, and then when I wake up at five or six or whenever I get up, then I'll take the vitamins. Now. This is what's important. Do it with a good multivitamin and also add, oh yeah, leaky gut, of course, of course. Um, do it with a good multivitamin and uh, also add uh, phosphatidylcholine, which is brain food. There is phoscol or phosphatidylcholine in fish. That's what. That's why they call you know fish brain food. There's a lot of phosphatidylcholine in it. Okay, and also add vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is good for mental clarity. Okay, so you're gonna take a multivitamin, a phosphatidylcholine. Okay, and you're gonna take a. Um, you're going to take a B12 vitamin, okay, which is very good for mental clarity. Put those three together into a tablespoon and then drip it with, say, three or four drops of DMSO on each pill. Let it sit for a half hour, an hour, two hours, as long as you can, right? Like I said, do it, do it before you go to bed and then let it sit and then take it in the morning or uh, do it, you know, you know, when you're at two o'clock in the morning or whatever. Do it before you get into the shower and then when you come out of the shower, you know, it may not all be soaked up, but that's okay. And then take it, all right? You're going to supercharge your brain. You're going to supercharge your brain with the multivitamin because all of those vitamins are going to be attached. The... Um, the DMSO is, is going to bind with your multivitamins, with the vitamin B12, and with the phosphatidylcholine, which is good brain food. And then when you take, when you take that combination, vitamins plus DMSO, 
It's going to cross the blood-brain barrier, and it's going to really, really feel good. You're going to feel sharp. You're going to feel smart. Uh, if you have any uh, dependency or any bad habits, if you smoke and you don't want to smoke, if you drink too much, you take drugs, you don't want to do that, believe me, you will be set free. Taking vitamins with DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide, okay? I want everybody to do this. Another good benefit that's going to come when you take uh, vitamins with DMSO is that uh, you're going to have really lucid and clear dreams, okay? Very, very strong, powerful dreams when you're asleep. In fact, your dreams are going to appear, they're going to feel more real than reality itself, okay? And uh, thank you, Lisa. Uh, you're very welcome. Your dreams are going to be more uh, real than real itself. I mean, I felt uh, I, my, my father passed away uh, in 2010, and uh, I had a dream two nights ago uh, where I mean, my dad was there. Okay, I actually I actually thought I had a spiritual uh, experience. I thought I actually was actually visited by him. It was that real. And uh, last night I had another real clear dream uh, that involved the president. And, and a lot of other stuff and I think I was a C, secret service agent or something like that in the dream but uh, it does happen uh, but the dreams not only will they be clear and sharp dreams when you wake up you'll be able to remember them so this is one of the strange effects you know the doctors know that DMSO works they just don't know how and they don't know why but DMSO dimethyl sulfoxide uh, you can take it by yourself you can take it topically. Uh, those of you who um, indulge in um, medical marijuana products uh, you, and you don't want to damage your lungs with smoking, uh, you can get the, uh, the THC oil, right, the tincture, and you can just drip it on your skin and then drip some DMSO on it and kind of smear it around. And you'll find that the DMSO will bind to the THC, get into your bloodstream, and within minutes, you'll actually feel the, the THC in the brain. Uh, hey, I don't judge, right? But I'm just letting you know the power of DMSO. DMSO plus vitamins, okay? Get vitamins, drip DMSO on it, let it soak in, take it, okay? Take it. And I would like you guys to visit my page, the uh, Neurofux, N E U R O F U X, Biohacking Community, and uh, join the group. You're open and welcome to join the group, and and post post uh, what happened. Post your uh, post your experience, right? Put your experience up and and, and, and tell us uh, tell us how you're doing. How, you know how it turned out. But I'm keeping to my keto diet, and uh, I'm about to. Uh, oh, great, great, yeah, and that's great.